Hi, I'm Danny Washington from The Big Blue and You. And today's webisode, we're gonna be talking about magnificent mangroves. There are 50 different species of this tropical plant worldwide, but here in South Florida, there are three native species of mangroves. One of my favorite species is the red mangrove, which got its name from its red bark. You can actually see a lot of the key characteristics right here on the tree, like its prop roots and drop roots, which actually come right into the water. One of the coolest things about the red mangrove is that it gets rid of the salt absorbed through its roots through sacrificial leaves, where all the salt is put into one leaf, and eventually that leaf will fall to the water and create this magnificent row of leaf litter that serves like a buffet line for all the juvenile fishes and crabs that use it as a food source. The second native species of mangrove that you'll find in South Florida is the black mangrove. Now, the reason why I can tell it's a black mangrove is by looking at its roots. These are called nematophores, and basically they come and stick out of the soil to help the tree exchange oxygen between the atmosphere so it can continue to grow and thrive. When the tide is high and these channels fill up with water, it's absolutely beautiful. And this place actually serves as a nursery for all different types of juvenile animals like fishes and crabs. And it also serves as a home and nesting site for lots of different birds. And when we have hurricanes and other storms that come along the coastline, mangroves serve as a buffer to protect us from the wave action and wind so that our shorelines won't get degraded. Unfortunately, humans are impacting mangrove communities in many different ways, including plastic pollution. As well as oil spills and runoff and dredging, we have to protect our mangrove forests because they help protect our shorelines. The last and final species is the white mangrove, which looks the most like a tree or a shrub. The leaves are pretty distinctive because when you look closely, you can actually see two little knobs right at the base. Until next time, I'm Danny Washington. What would you do for the Big Blue?